But it's time now for US news with the Queen of American Showbiz Royal and political reporting Kinsey Schofield. And Kinsey, let's talk about uh, let's talk about this uh, rather dramatic new book coming out. Uh, it's called Endgame by Omid Scoby, who uh, is uh, a friend of the Sussexes. And uh, I think it's quite unkind about Prince William. Yeah, that's well. I mean, is it? I, one of my favorite Taylor Swift lyrics is play stupid games, you win stupid prizes. He's mm. claiming that Prince William ha pushed him out of the royal rota and, and would not allow him to follow the Waleses around after, well, they weren't the Waleses at the time, but um, Prince William and Princess Kate wouldn't allow them to follow him around after the release of his book, Finding Freedom, because he felt like he was Prince Harry's lapdog. And, you know, I, I'd argue perhaps he was, Mark. I'm not sure that there's uh, maybe three people in the world would, would disagree with that, Omid, Harry and Meghan. Um, but he claims that Prince William pushed him out and wouldn't allow him to cover them as closely as he used to after it was revealed that he did have a closer relationship to Prince Harry and Meghan Markle than, uh, you know, they had alluded to at the at, uh, during the release of Finding Freedom. You know, they initially lied about Harry and Meghan's participation in that book. Indeed, uh, we should point out that uh, the couple do deny any close links with or influence on the work of Omid Scobie. But you're entitled to your view, Kinsey, particularly as one of the world's leading royal commentators. Um, well, what do we think about that? It's not just me. Remember when Meghan went after the Daily Mail, it was um, Jason Kanoff. It, it was emails with Jason Kanoff that came out in uh, that that. Um, went the discovery where they found emails from Jason Knopf and Meghan and Harry where they they did say, we want you to give Omid Scobie this information for this mm. book. We want to have an influence on finding freedom. So it's not, it's not just my opinion, Mark, okay? No, m m most definitely. Uh, listen, Kinsey, how damaging could this book be? Because, I mean, they, they mentioned the race row again, the color of the child. I don't think we need to go over old ground. Is there anything in else, else in there that looks like a problem for King Charles? I mean, The Sun is reporting that a second member of the extended royal household, um, you know, not a member of the royal family, but a second member of the royal household made disparaging comments about Archie's skin tone. And this is allegedly revealed within a letter that Meghan Markle sent to King Charles. Neither individual is named in the book because Scobie claims he's worried about litigation. In the big scheme of things, PR wise, I think people consider Harry and Meghan to be insecure, very sensitive, and they tend to exaggerate their claims. And I just don't think it would have the same effect today that it that this these claims would have had a few years ago. Mm. I, I think that people are kind of over Harry and Meghan, if I'm being honest, over the complaining. And this is going to be, perhaps, it's going to shake things up a little bit, but I don't think that this is quote unquote, the end game for the royal family as much as Omid would like for us to think it is. Yeah, I think a bit of self-aggrandizement at play there. And uh, Harry and Meghan, subject to the law of diminishing returns. Uh, you're not subject to any diminishing returns. You got a massive scoop this week. Tell me more. Oh my gosh, Mark, this is wild. So every year, uh, for the last three years, Kitson has put together a, um, a holiday hip hypocrisy window display. So it's not like Dior or Chanel, the beautiful, you know, those be beautiful visuals you have over there. Um, but they call out public figures for hypocrisy every holiday season. And this year, Harry and Meghan are featured on it for their eco hypocrisy. Mark Kitson is the celebrity hotspot here in the States. It's the perfect gifts boutique. You, you know, uh, this is where all the celebrities used to go to be papped when they were desperate for that kind of attention. Paris Hilton, Kim Kardashian walking out of the store with huge blue bags. So, I know that it's going to drive the Duchess crazy that Hollywood A-listers are, you know, going to pass by her photo, basically, as they run in to grab stocking stuffers this holiday season. This is going to be, um, I would say, 
very embarrassing for her. Uh, this is your exclusive footage. It's your story. It's got the country talking, hasn't it? Uh, People of the Year is, is the, uh, the sort of window display, display at this gift shop next to a sign for violent crime, which actually looks jollier than Harry and Meghan. <laughs> right. Well, what they're trying to point out is that G Governor Gavin Newsom uh, and, you know, some of his lax policies has really made California such a disgrace in blatant comparison to Ron DeSantis's Florida. Mm. You know, DeSantis is much more aggressive. He's much harder on crime than the state of California. So you are seeing an increase in violent crime. You are seeing an increase in crime in general here in California versus Florida. Uh, and Kitson's calling it out. They also called Gavin Newsom and Oprah out on the same window, Gavin Newsom, for uh, saying we made mistakes during the COVID crisis. And I know you know because we talked about this. We were masked up for years uh, in trouble if we took a walk around the block without our mask on um, and then calling out Oprah Winfrey one of the richest women in the world for asking for those donations for Hawaii so Kitson is pretty savage this holiday season Mark <laughs> I wish there was a branch here in the UK let's talk about Princess Diana who is the apple of your eye I know that she's one of the reasons why you became such a fan of the royal family and uh, some of her memorabilia up for sale is that right isn't this so fun? Right here in Beverly Hills, it's a pastel pink blouse that was worn by Princess Di um, in her 1981 engagement portrait by Lord Snow. And it's going up for auction here at Julian's Auction House in Beverly Hills. It's expected to fetch $200,000, so I'm obviously not in the running for it. Um, this beautiful photo that they have of her in the blouse, it was taken for a 1981 of issue of Vogue magazine by Princess Margaret's ex-husband, I believe the feature was called like upcoming beauty uh, they described the top as a poignant symbol of love grace and a timeless moment in history which i obviously agree with and in regards to the significance of this piece the auction house says it represents the elegance of a woman who forever captured our hearts around the world and all i have to say to that is amen uh, kinsey listen always a treat look forward to seeing you in a week's time the queen of u.s showbiz royal and political reporting kinsey schofield check out her website and podcast which are both called to die for daily.